our place. This is our moment in the human race. This is our journey. This is our climb. This is our place. And this is our time.
thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, we, I, live, I live in Greenwich Village in New York City. And the, New York City has taught me a lot. I'm still learning. And uh, I wrote a song about Bleecker Street. I, out my window, my apartment in Greenwich Village, I can see Bleecker Street out the window. Steve Earl lived three doors from me. Little Steven lives a block away. Patty Smith lives two blocks away. So there's still magic in those streets. And I wrote a song to honor that place. It's called Life on Bleecker Street. Cheers, everybody! Here's 
the 100 Club. You know, if you, th if you think about the history of rock and roll and where it's been, that this place is still going. I've been looking, I've been, I've been looking forward to this for months. I mean, I love rock and roll. You know, we play stadiums everywhere around the world, but when we come to London, we play the fucking what? We don't really have this fucking. I'm just fucking with you. But, kidding aside, I love this place for all the reasons that are on the wall. Here's the 100 Club. Here's the all for coming out. sisters around the planet, most of us do, we want a better world for everybody, who, who would, well some, let's not talk about that, anyway, here's to a better world for all our brothers and sisters, here's to the poor people in Ukraine, dealing with what they're dealing with, it's called the innocent ones.
been dying to come here for fucking I don't know how many months. All my life I've been dying. Anyway, I've been here before, but this. You know what? There's, there's a thing about. Uh, I'm like 145 years old next week, and. Me too. We all are, right? So. But I believe in this. I believe in heart. I believe in passion. I believe in power. I believe in love, faith, helping neighbor. Anyway, this is. This next one has nothing to do with any of those things. Who about the music? Yeah, yeah, let's see. Make sure the tune. Let me ask the baby Jesus if that's okay. It's okay. Good. Thank you, Johnny. This one is called Lost and Lonely World. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, from your lost and lonely world.
gonna take a shower, I'll be right back. Anyway. Thank you. They didn't use you're gonna be a bath towel. They knew what was coming, so they gave me a bath towel. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. So I live in Greenwich Village, New York City, and uh, when uh, when COVID happened, I wrote the song. If you would have told me the, the song was about the lockdown, it's the title track of an album called "The Day the Earth Stood Still." The Day the Earth Stood Still. It's a great sci-fi film from 1951. So I have a, a storage space about a half a block from the tunnel at the bottom of Manhattan. And on any given uh, you know, rush hour, it takes three, like 45 minutes to go two blocks. So on a Friday night at rush hour, forget about it. So on May 20th, 2020, I was in New York, I went to my storage space, and I came out at six o'clock on a Friday night. And I went to the corner, and there was not one car, I looked north. I stood in the middle of the street. I could have laid down, there was not one car, not one person. This is New York fucking city. <clears throat> On a Friday night, <clears throat> I looked south, not one car. <clears throat> I actually took two photographs. And I thought, the day the earth stood still. So anyway, this is uh, the title song of the day the earth stood still. And uh, I love this song, I love all these songs. This one's special for a lot of reasons. <laughs> Here's everybody here to survive and those who do. The dead years stood still.
writing a new album. We put two albums out over up through COVID. An album called New York at Night and an album called The Adios Stood Still. I've written a new album, but I'm working on a, a, a film being made about me. Anyway, so I'm working on that right now. But I have a new album written. It doesn't suck. Let's see. Let me make sure this guy's okay over here. He has a Ramon's t-shirt on, so he's clearly got some extra life. Yeah, I believe ear balls. Anyway, it's okay. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. A momentary lapse of reason, which which should be the title. I, mean, I have so many band titles. I've got the cocaine hookers. I've got the yeah. barstool prophets. I've got a momentary lapse of reason. I'm not sure which. I got. I got hooker. Anyway, make sure he's okay. Alright, thank you, brother. Who lays down on the stage with a Ramon t shirt and goes, This dude. Thank you, brother. Anyway, I want to say something. This next song, so I, I made an album in 2020, 20, 2006 called Streets of New York. Thank you. And I haven't played most of those songs since 2006. So in March, we did a, a, an album show in New York City. We played the whole album. And I've been playing this next song since 2006. And it's called uh, The Faded Flower of Broadway. A short story. So I wrote this song with my dear friend, Frankie Lee. Frankie Lee is a master. He's, he's, as, good as, he's as good as McCartney, he's as good as Bob Dylan, and he's really shy. I invite him up to come out to gigs, he doesn't come. You know, Frankie, I'm gonna sing seven of your songs tonight with me. Anyway, we wrote this song. One day on a Saturday, he came down to my apartment. We were up every Saturday for about 10 years. And then on a Sunday, we would demo the song. So he comes down one Saturday and he said, I was walking down Broadway and I got to 54th Street. And there was this elderly woman with a print dress like down to her ankles, standing about 10 feet from a hotel. And she had a table and selling her, her primitive paintings. All the paintings were the same subject. It was the Statue of Liberty, birds, people walking, and some quotations. And he came, he said, I have this idea for a song called The Faded Flower of Broadway. Clearly she was in the 20s, 30s, and it was, it's, it's, I love this song, it's one of my favorites. I haven't sung it in, uh, since 2006, uh, before March. Anyway, I want to dedicate The Faded Flower of Broadway Many people in the show tonight will have known Judith Miller. People know Judith Miller in the house as she was a part of the, the Badlands community. Sadly, she died last week. Judith was a lovely lady, cultured and renowned antiques expert. She wrote many books on the subject and she was appeared was an expert on the BBC's Antiques World Show. She was a friend of my dear friend Janice Moore. Judith also had a rock and roll heart and would travel for rock and roll shows. You name it, she would travel. Condolences to her husband John, her son Tom, daughters Kara and Kirsty, and all the family. Rest in peace, she will always be missed. This is for Judith Miller. Yeah. It's a of Broadway.
Jay Bones, Lower East Side, this guy. On the drums, John Weber. Get up and John Weber! On the bass, jumping Johnny Paisano! True story, other than all the lies I've told so far, this is true. <laughs> They're all true. This song is a title track of an album. This is called, and the album was called New York at Night. And it's based on a, on a true story. So it was the summertime, I think it was 2019, when I was like 13 years old. And <laughs> so I went to Times Square. There's a venue there called the, uh, what's it called? The Iridium. The Iridium, the name of Jesus. It was Les Paul's club. Les Paul invented the Gibson guitar. So Les Paul has a club just north of Times Square. On a, set, on a Friday night, I went up there, saw a show. I can't remember what it was. And I came out at 10.30, Friday night, Times Square, and there's a million people. So I go to the subway to go downtown to the West Village to West 4th Street, where I live. And I'm walking down the subway, this is a true story, not a joke. I'm walking down the subway stairs, and as I get to the bottom of the stairs, a train pulls in the station. As it pulls in, I'm walking, the back car, the last car, doors open up, I'm walking toward the car doors, and as I get closer, I see that there's a can of whipped cream, about as ready, ready with my, my favorite brand, whipped cream this big. It's not really a fucking whip. It's a can of whipped cream. I thought, in the doorway of a subway car, as I got closer to the whipped cream, that was a guy's foot. And a guy's, his next foot. Two inches of whipped cream on his shoes. Two inches of whipped cream up his legs, on his knees, on his thighs, up to his waist. Two inches of whipped cream. I mean, I like whipped cream, but not that much. So, I, was, I walked in the car and I was afraid I was afraid to look to see what was going on there. Cause like, there's a crowded subway car on a Friday night, I'm serious. And some dude is covered with whipped cream in the back of the car. I walk in the car, it was, I looked for a seat at the other end, sat down, and I just thought, ah, New York City, what the fuck? So I got back down to West 4th Street Station in the village, come upstairs, and there's like NYU students partying, homeless people with their hands out, Limousines outside the Blue Note Jazz Club, and I just thought, New York at night. And it hit me like a ton of bricks. That's a song. So I live about a block from the subway station, and by the time I got upstairs, it was almost done. So this is called New York at Night. I want to dedicate it to all you whipped cream aficionados in the house.
as a father of four and a grandfather of four, I need a drink. How you doing so far? Johnny Walker in the house. Johnny Pazano in the house. Sean Weber in the house. Jimmy K. Bones in the house. Willie fucking Nile. Actually, my middle name is the Rick. This is fucking. On the birth certificate, it says Willie fucking Nile. No, it doesn't. No. Cheers, everybody. This is all Children of Paradise. We are all the Children of Paradise. Some of us, some of us have had easier journeys than others. But this was inspired by a great French film, Les Enfants de Paradis. It's a great film. Anyway, here's, here's to you. We're all the children of paradise. You and me, our, ch our grandchildren. Yeah.
much. Bless your, bless your hearts. Bless your rock and roll hearts. I want to thank the baby Jesus for coming tonight. He's over there. Thank you, baby. Buddha's over there. And kidding aside, thank you for coming tonight. Thank you. Let's do a... Uh, hold on. All right. Where's, Where's Mickey? Mickey, we have an emergency. Jimmy needs a beer. But besides that, Mickey Kemp, can your drummer come up here to help John? It's two of her. If your drummer can come up and help with the beer and broke the drum. I'm running a technical difficulty, which won't stop me, motherfucker. No, 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 no. This is a commercial break. It's not. No, no. I got, I got stories. I can tell you stories. Thank you, thank you. What happened? <laughs> My drummer hits the drums really loud. And sometimes they go, ah, not tonight. He's a great drummer. He's a great drummer. John Weber. John Weber on the drums! Okay, so I'm gonna we'll tune up a little bit. I like this place. Have most of you have most of you people been here before in the venue? psychiatrist in the house. Are you serious? An exquisite man with taste. <laughs> Are you serious? New Jersey? Really? Thank you. We need a therapist up front. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Our job, my job is to write songs I believe in, which I do. And I believe in this band. And, uh. Let's see. Yeah, Johnny, a joke. Wait, 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 wait. You're asking for trouble. Never mind, never mind, Johnny. <laughs> so. Oh, I'll do it. You Look asked up. for it. No. It's a matter of which one. Alright, I got one. Hey, yeah, yeah. So. There's a farmer, he's raising sheep. And the sheep, they won't mate. Whoa, 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 little whoa, 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 this has already gone too far. Oh, that's just beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. So he takes the sheep and he puts them in his van, drives them to the veterinarian, and the veterinarian examines them and says, listen, the only way these sheep are gonna get pregnant is if you do it yourself. What do you mean do it myself? You need to fuck the sheep three times. And the next morning you wake up and they'll be on their back with their feet sticking up. I knew that it. means it worked. So he puts them in his van, drives them up the highest hill, fucks them all three times, comes back the next morning, they're just walking around grazing. Gets the sheep again, puts them in his van, drives them up to the highest hill, fucks them all three times, the next morning you lie on their back. No, nope, they're just walking around grazing. It's like, Jesus Christ, I'm exhausted. So he does it one more time, he gets the sheep, he puts them in his van, he drives them up to the highest hill, fucks them all three times. The next morning he's just exhausted, laying in bed. His wife says, honey, honey, what, what? It's the sheep. Are they lying in their back with their feet sticking up? She says, no, they're in the van and one of them's beeping the horn. I didn't get any of that. Thank you. Look, uh, who asked for that? Who is it? Yeah, thank you very much. Anyway, shoot the side. Speaking of heaven, let's see all heaven up alone. I'm going to dedicate this to Johnny Walker. Johnny, what's for you, brother?
said, yeah, but I'm afraid of the dark. And she said, don't worry, baby, remember, you always have me. I said, yeah, but what should I do?
and mushrooms. I left you on the board before you did the mix tonight. Yeah, I did them all. Anyway, thank you. Thank you so much. Guys, let's do, uh, let's do Run Free. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to start stage diving soon. I'm a, I'm a wee lad, so I'm easy to carry. You can throw me on the ground if you want. I bounce. Anyway, heartfelt thanks for coming out tonight. How about this band? Not too bad, huh? Yeah. I've been dying to bring these guys here for, for years. And, and we're here now, and it's a, it's a pleasure to be here playing for you. This is what I do. These are my guys. I love all, all these guys. Jimmy Bones, John Weber, Johnny Paisano. And this is called Run Free. It's a song about freedom.
singer songwriter called Jim Carroll. The song is called People Who Died. And the thing for me is I'm a student of rock and roll. I love it. I love it to my dying day. And People Who Died for me is one of the all-time great rock songs. It's not a taboo subject. And at one night I played a venue in New York called Joe's Pub. And I was signing CDs. By the way, there's CDs over there. Mickey Kemp, they're opening. Give it up for Mickey Kemp over the show, Mickey! So anyway, I, I did this gig in New York. We closed the show with people who died. We're not gonna do it. We're gonna do it now. We're not done. Anyway, these four guys came up to me after the show, and they said, Jim Carroll was a friend of ours. We knew every single person in that song. So every single, the song is on, so it's true. Everybody in this song, it happens, shit happens to. And I'm gonna sing this for us, embracing the people we lost. Here's to us. Here's the great, the great Jim Carroll for writing one of the all-time great rock and roll songs. People who die, Jim, God bless your brother. Two, two, three, 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 two
Nicky Kemp, Johnny Pazzaro, John Weber, Jimmy Bones. Give it up for the straight rock and roll band. CDs. I'm gonna say hello to some people in the house over there. So if you want some, they don't suck. Anyway, bless your hearts for coming out tonight. Here you go.
Thank you so much. Give it up to this great band. Johnny Pantano on the bass. John Weber on the drums. Mickey Campo on the open the show. Jimmy, Jimmy Bones on the guitar. Bless you for coming out. Johnny Pye, Jimmy Bones, shout over, come on out, take a bow. Bless your hearts, everybody.